Today, we're going to be continuing our housing area, our suburbs, or whatever you would call it. Basically, building out some more places and just making the map feel a little bit more full. All right, so here we are in the beautiful dream game with our green screen box up there and our sort of a layout over here. This was going to be a park slash basketball court. Okay, maybe that one. This one's all houses and this one's all houses as well. We'll probably do those ones first. So let's just grab our set of houses over here. Here. Uh, perfect. I think we just have houses. Let me just grab those. Is this? Yeah, yeah. These are these are the new ones. So we're gonna copy those, paste them. Uh, and wow, they teleported right where we needed them to be. I'll take it. Now we're gonna have these. We'll just set them right here for now, and we're gonna kind of replace these plots with these houses. So first things first, we have the two end houses, which we're gonna need two skinny ones for. I almost wanna do like this and this, uh, just because they're sort of uh opposing each other. If that that sounds if that sounds right. I don't know. Might be a little wrong, but let's do it like this and then we'll rotate those around, throw them over here and hopefully it sort of fills up this spot. Let's see. Whoa, we could have pretty much a whole nother building there. I wonder if we could. Three buildings on the edge. I don't know if that's going to work or not. No, not really. So it looks like these will be the very limited people that actually have a little bit of space in their yard in Chicago. So let's have this like this and we'll put this one over to the side a little bit. In fact, let me check something real quick because we might be able to do a cool little alleyway. Let's put this building like this. Uh, we have to move it back some because we do need a little bit of front yard. And then let's put one of these buildings. We'll do these two because why not? I think that'd look pretty cool. And let's move those over this way. Have them back a little bit as well. Just like this. And it looks like we could have a small alleyway. It's kind of like give or take. I mean, it looks all right, but not fantastic. Line those up in the back. Something like this and I guess we just got to kind of fill up this area right here with houses. All right, so so far so good. I think up next we're just going to fill it in with grass because uh it makes it look so so much better. So edit, paint and then we need grass, perfect. And we're just going to fill this in by coloring like this. We don't have to be too precise because we have a beautiful plugin that will remove any extra grass that we didn't want, which uh helps a lot honestly with this project. I can't even lie. I just want to fill this all in, make sure it's looking really nice, has a lot of grass. There we go. That should be good. Let's go up here. Oh yeah, already just makes it feel a little bit more lived in. Up next, we're gonna add a path up to each doorway. Now to make these, uh, I believe I just copied the sidewalk over here. I do wanna have a little bit of a, you know, uh, what's what's the word? Cohesiveness? Probably not, <laughs> probably not the right word, but I'm gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna make one of these paths up to each door on these houses. Looks great. Now what I'm gonna do is take our plugin right here by Robo and let's see where is it at there it is grass fixer and so I don't have to select all the parts I'm just gonna click fix all but this is a pretty big place so it is gonna take its sweet time I'm gonna be honest here but it'll get the job done let's close that out and we'll just wait a second and all of this stuff will be absolutely grass free and looking pristine and absolutely perfect as we can see uh there's a couple spots that like I'd love to have a little bit more grass on but I will kind of demonstrate this point real quick that uh the Roblox editor doesn't exactly love it. So I'm going to put this on one. And if I just paint a little here, boom, it goes onto the sidewalk. This is the smallest. Oh, okay. We're doing good. Okay. That one on the sidewalk. Okay. So you can do it. It's just very, very touchy. All right. Like really touchy. We could do some over here. That's fine. Uh, we can try. Yes. Hold on. We can actually do a little bit here. Maybe like that and this. No. All right. I'll take it. And then over here, we definitely need a little bit. We're just going to put it like this. Perfect. And I think we're looking pretty good. Over here, I think I want to have like a trash lot or just somewhere where I could put like maybe dumpsters, trash bags, trash cans, stuff like that. So let's paint over it and we're going to paint it as concrete. I think that, oh no, our concrete is actually a different color in here. So I guess we'll just add some mud first, kind of just around. This helps break up a lot. I like putting it on the corners because when people hit a corner a little too sharp, obviously they're going to be damaging the grass. This is obviously a patch of who knows what. So it doesn't need a lot of grass. We're going to add up more details in here as well. Then these corners where people step, of course, step nice and uh, drive. Of course, let's grab some right there, right there. Let's just do a whole strip on that one because why not? Just keeping it, keeping it interesting, keeping it varied. You already know. Let's add a few little things in here because why not? And then let's add some other stuff. We can do rock. That's a, a pretty easy thing. Awesome. Now that that's done, let's add in the trees because that'll help it come together as a lot more lived 
then I do want to duplicate one of these and let's add a little thing back here just as like a trash site. So right here, we're going to do the grass fixer again, but I am going to uh, just do fix selected parts. It would be a lot faster as you can see. And right there, we can have some grass and all of that stuff. But so it doesn't look so ugly and like a block placed on top of, you know, your terrain. We're going to grow some terrain over the sides of it. This is just going to help give that illusion that uh, it's been more like, like, I don't know, people have been here a little bit, you know, it's not a new, a new structure by any means. That looks a lot more uh, used, I guess, a lot more abandoned. <laughs> now let's get some trash bags, some dumpsters, put those there, get the trees scattered around as well. We won't be able to have too many trees on this one, but we could certainly try. Let's grab some of these, CV, and let's bring them over here. Guys, every time I work on this little area of the, uh, the suburbs, I don't even know what to call it, man. The living area, right? <laughs> and who knows if we'll have viable houses or not. I hope so. But every time I work on over here, it's so, so nice because each time you're just one step closer to finishing this game, man. And it's like when this game comes out, ooh, I'm excited, bro. I'm so excited. Let's put this down just a little bit into there. And then we can have uh, this tree. I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna put it on the other side as well. But I'm going to rotate it a little bit. There we go. Something like that looks good to me. And then over here, we definitely need a tree. So let's grab this one and move it to like the back corner. This will just be kind of a little park that people uh, sort of go in, I guess. Maybe we'll put a bench in there. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. But for now, I mean, dang, bro, this is looking pretty good. Also, the uh, towards the end of this series, because I have a lot of comments, hey, add street stuff like stop signs, stop lights, uh, light poles, uh, graffiti, add a bunch more stuff like the little details. I want to let you know that is like the end of the series. So when the whole map is done and I'm just waiting on programmers, I'll be doing stuff like optimizing, adding in like little details like graffiti, uh, posters, road wear and tear, stoplights, stop signs, all that kind of stuff will all be added in, but towards the end of this series, just so I have something to keep working on while uh, the game is being programmed, which is super, super sick. But for now, dumpster and trash bags. Not bad at all. Guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's Dream Game episode, where we have a whole nother section of the living area done. I don't know what I'm doing with this strip right here or this strip right here. I know this will be a school with a parking lot in the front and all of the red spots will be buildings. And uh, other than that, I'm not sure. We have these two strips that uh, I don't know what I want to do with. So if you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comments below and the most thumbs up will definitely do for the dream game. But that's going to wrap it up for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.